Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome to a Sacred Union Energy Update where we're going to be checking in on the energies for the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine. I did a quick energy update on Instagram and Facebook yesterday. Um, pretty amazing cards that came out. Uh, Divine Masculine is really going through a beautiful and profound transformation where they are stepping into their sovereign energy, where they are embracing the change. Um, that is going on both within themselves and they are starting to see that reflected in their physical world with regards to more stability, more happiness, and more wish fulfillment. Um, so that is a really beautiful change for the Divine Masculines. For the Divine Feminines, you are embracing new beginnings and fresh energy, really coming to a place of surrender. Any place where there was old residual fears, you are really surrendering to that as well. So really beautiful energies coming in. All right, so yeah, really beautiful energies coming in as a result of the full moon eclipse in Capricorn. It was the third and final eclipse of the season. We are now today, we have the 7-7 seven, seven portal, which is another portal, another gateway. Powerful energies. I know I am feeling extraordinarily tired today, having very vivid dreams. Um, dreams that I'm not entirely sure what is happening or why I'm having them um, or what they're meant to tell me, um, but it definitely feels, they're, they're very vivid and definitely feels like there is transformation happening underneath, like there is uh, realignment that is happening, like there is healing that is happening as a result. Um, so dream state, you guys might be experiencing some healing and clearing, possibly even purging, happening in dream state. Uh, what I'm also hearing is activations. You are getting downloads and key codes activated within your dream state as well. So um, not necessarily you don't have to pay attention to your dreams. Um, pay attention. Okay, so pay attention to your dreams, um, but there's it's happening beneath the surface. You don't have to analyze it. You don't have to overanalyze it. What they're saying is just allow it to flow, just allow it to happen, allow the activations and the expansions to happen um, because it's it's the, the changes, the transformation that's happening on a cellular level, um, like your very DNA becoming more crystalline in nature. Um, and more releasing is happening, more patterning hap is releasing, uh, more conditioning is releasing. Um, and, and again, you don't have to overanalyze it. Pay attention um, for what your dreams might be telling you, but you don't have to over overanalyze. It's, it's happening naturally. It's occurring naturally. And you will feel the effects of that with more light codes, more bliss codes coming in um, with these activations. Okay. So what we're going to do today is a Sacred Union Energy Update for the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine. I think we're going to start with the Romance Angels um, to see where you guys stand with each other. We're going to bring this down a little bit um, from the higher level Ascension energies and see what's going on, particularly within your relationship. Um, a lot of changes. Uh, some of you have been emailing me that you have been reuniting with your counterparts, that there have been communication coming in, um, that there has also been a next level of commitment or a forming of your relationship in the physical environment. So this is amazing. I was just talking to a friend of mine about my own journey and how it feels worlds apart from where I was. There is a lot more happiness appreciation, acceptance of where I am. Um, and as a result of that, being very present, being very in the moment and just allowing things to unfold naturally and organically and appreciating that, finding happiness in those moments and magic in those moments, my relationship is unfolding in a really beautiful way. Um, I've spent maybe the past month, 90% of the time with my Divine Masculine. Um, when there are challenges, or trials or upheavals, we work through it together, um, especially within our physical environment. We've been working through things together, um, and a, a, a feels like a relationship, a, a true relationship has been forming, a true partnership has been forming, and um, it's neither of us are, are really holding back as much, and it's it's really beautiful. It feels really freeing. I was thinking about this as well, where it feels like I'm not afraid to express my love anymore, where I really held back my love and my affection, I'm not afraid to just express myself and I feel like that is 
creating a transformation within me that I'm seeing reflected in my world as a whole with all of my relationship dynamics. And it really, it feels beautiful. It really feels beautiful. And I'm, I'm just mind blown at the transformation from that fear-based mindset to this one of just love and compassion and just happiness. And uh, for a very long time, I was in a state of, well, this happiness is going to be taken away because, you know, every time I'm happy, something happens that pulls me back into this negative energy. And I have just completely dissolved that programming and... I'm just appreciating every moment and just loving every moment and being very present and embracing the energies now and it's completely transforming my life and transforming my connection, transforming my relationship. My Divine Masculine is uh, going through his own healing and transformation as well, um, his own ascension journey as well and as we both do that, we converge we come together in this beautiful partnership and I'm just mind blown you know six months ago we were not here <laughs> we were absolutely not where we are and um, both of us just allowing ourselves to be happy and happiness really is an inside project it really is an inside job you know despite your physical external circumstances if you maintain that peace that stability that balance within that is when you know you see that reflected in your outside world you know, the outside doesn't reflect, or the outside is not, it's not, it's not the opposite, where you base your happiness on outside circumstances. I'll only be happy when I have this job. I'll only be happy when I have this person. I'll only be happy when I reach this accomplishment. It doesn't work like that. Happiness comes from inside, and then you project that into your physical environment. That's, you know, that is the truth of who we are because the truth of who we are is that happiness it is that love it is that light and our outside reality is the projection the hologram the illusory nature of the truth that we hold within so if you maintain that happiness and that balance within then you will see that manifest in your outside world in abundance in prosperity in relationships and um, it's it's really mind-blowing because I think a lot of us dappled with some doubts and lack of faith along this journey. That's an understatement. And uh, it's kind of mind-blowing that, that this is everything that we've channeled, everything that we have believed in, everything that we've held on to and had faith in as we were letting go of the fears and the lack mindset and the scarcity mindset. It's real. This sacred union is real, and everything that comes along with this journey is real, and it is here, and it's a little bit beautifully mind-blowing. It really, really is. Um, I'm still kind of wrapping my mind around that this is this is my life now, that this is who I am now, that this is my relationship now, and uh, I truly, truly believe that it's only going to be building, getting better as we create better both for ourselves, for me personally, for our connection, and for the world as a whole. And um, this is, uh, it, it makes me kind of uh, emotional because what I'm hearing from Spirit is um, there's a sense of love coming from Spirit and a sense of knowing compassion coming from Spirit right now, saying this, this is why you held on. This is why we wanted you to keep going. This is why we didn't want you to give up. This is what it was all for. It was for this love, not just in a 3D relationship. The 3D relationship is just the surface level, but it's for this feeling of peace. It's for this feeling of stability. It's for this feeling of unconditional love and oneness and just being this connectedness to your counterpart and to the world as a whole. And the more people who embody this love, the more we have the ability to change the world. And how beautiful and powerful and divine is that recognizing our wholeness, recognizing our divinity, recognizing our powerful from a pure place versus the corrupt programming that we had been involved in for so long, whether subconsciously or even consciously for some people. And we've really ascended beyond that and have been doing the inner work to let that all go, to ascend and transform ourselves. And as we ascend and transform ourselves, we're transforming the world. And God, that creation energy is just so beautiful. And it's overwhelming and emotional because it's just, this is what it's for. This is what it's for. It's for this feeling of love. 
for this feeling of joy that is our divine birthright as soul. It's just, we were kept in this darkness for so long, kept from that truth for so long, kept in the illusion for so long that we were powerless. And um, now we're really understanding how divine and powerful we are as one with God, as one with Source, as one with the universe. And that feeling of connectedness, that feeling of oneness with the universe is just so all-encompassing and beautiful. And this is what it was for. It's, it's very validating. It's very validating. That's the word that Spirit is bringing in. It's, it's very validating. This is what the work was for. And um, we're only going to keep growing and evolving into more and more of this sovereignty, more and more of this love, more and more of this ascension. And it's just, it feels very, very beautiful. So wherever you are on your journey, whatever stage you're in, wherever you are, keep going. Keep going because you are there. You are ascending. You are transforming. Believe in that. Have faith in that. Have faith in yourself. Have faith in your connection. And most importantly, have faith in the universe and in that trinity energy where you are all one. Whew, okay. <laughs> all right, you guys. So, um... Powerful energies coming in today, 7-7 seven, seven portal, where you have that conscious choice to make to continue to level up and ascend in more into your sovereign self, more into your evolutionary journey. Um, still feeling the energies of the full moon eclipse. Um, so you still might be doing some releasing, some surrendering. A lot of the messages coming in, especially this week on the dailies, was about releasing control, more control, especially releasing more of the egoic control of how things should be manifested. You put the request in, and your vibration and your high frequency, you getting into alignment with yourself helps the universe bring those opportunities to you. You release the control of the how and the when, just allow things to unfold naturally, organically, by embracing the present moment, finding magic in the present moments, appreciation for the present moments, acceptance of the present moments. And with that energy, you come more into more alignment with your true self and more and more into alignment with the universe, which then matches your frequency and vibration and allows your manifestations to become tangible, to become very physical. So um, keep Keep releasing the old so that you can rise in your vibrations and come into alignment so that the universe can come in and bring in your abundance and continue to allow these beautiful magical moments and memories to unfold. Um, okay, quick announcement. Um, I am still closed to personal readings uh, until August. Those of you who booked prior to my unexpected hiatus, I am finishing your readings this week. So check your inboxes. They will be delivered to you this week yet. Yeah, thank you so much for your patience. I will have something a little special on offer for you guys as a thank you for your patience as well. Patreon subscribers, um, we are going to have a romance reading up for you this week yet yeah, as well as a pick a pile. So stay tuned for that. Um, if you are interested in booking for August, I am starting to schedule now, so feel free to reach out to me if you want me to uh, do a reading for you. And I'm going to be opening back up to all readings. This is romance readings, checking on your connection, career readings, past life readings, um, spiritual ascension readings. So I'll be opening back up to all readings um, in August, so I'm, I'm, I'm going to start scheduling uh, now for August, so feel free to email me. And uh, we'll be catching up on the collective readings as well. Okay, so let's see. <laughs> I love this. Worth waiting for. See? Divine timing is at work in your love life. This, this is that validation energy that I was talking about. This is that spirit coming in and saying, see, I told you so. I told you to hang in there. I told you to have faith. I told you to trust your inner knowing versus what you were seeing in the physical because the physical is the illusion. The physical is the projection, the hologram, the simulation of everything that you hold within you. So if you were still holding on to a belief of this is never going to work out, I don't know if this is my divine counterpart, he's never going to commit to me, he's never going to want me, those were all energies that you were holding about yourself Fears, false beliefs based on old heartbreak, trauma, past lifetime energy, residual energy, all that soul sludge that you were holding on to about yourself that was just fear being played out in your physical reality. But what's happening, because you're clearing all of that, everything is changing because you are changing. 
So as you clear out those false beliefs and come more into alignment with believing that you're worthy, believing that you're valued, believing that you deserve divine love, that you are divine love, the more your physical world and your physical connection is going to be reflecting that. That's why it's worth waiting for. It's worth waiting for for you to do the inner work, for you to do all that clearing of that karma and that soul sludge, as I like to call it, so that you can come into more and more of your power, more and more of your divine nature, more and more of your sovereignty and your deserving, your value, your worth, your love for yourself so that that is reflected back to you. So beautiful. We're going to put that up as a overall message here. So let's see where the Divine Masculine is currently. Where is the Divine Masculine currently? Where is the Divine Masculine currently? It flipped out here. New love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. This feels twofold. I'm getting two energies here. So I'm going to pause here for a second. I'm getting two energies here. I'm getting, um, this is a fresh energy. Uh, fresh is a new beginning. And this is coming on the heels of that Instagram and Facebook post where we had the Wheel of Fortune. I believe it was the Ten of Cups and the uh, King of Pentacles for the Divine Masculine. Divine masculines are entering a new stage of their life because they have been doing the inner work as well. And Divine Feminines, um, I really encourage you guys to check out the readings from the last few months if you're called to a title or a description um, from my playlist, Sacred Union Energy Updates, because this energy has been carrying over from the past few months. Sometimes I do tend to channel ahead. So depending on where you are, some of those older readings, those timeless readings might resonate. This is the energy that we have been picking up on where Divine Masculines have really been putting in the work even if you haven't been able to see it. That's where your faith, Divine Feminines, and your knowing and your trust has been tested and coming in. Um where you've been called to have faith, where you've been called to trust both yourself, this journey, source, and your divine masculine because your divine masculine has been going through this transformation even if in the physical environment it didn't look like much, even if it looked like the same old patterning and habits and addictions and toxic energy and relationships, whatever it was, it looked like the same, but the physical takes some time to catch up to what happens within. And there has been a remarkable transformation from the Divine Masculine within, especially as their own feminine energy within is beginning to rise, where they are learning to express themselves, learning to be honest with themselves, learning how to really value themselves. And their, what I'm hearing is their contribution to the connection and to society as a whole really learning to value themselves and what they have to offer, really finding themselves and their purpose where they had really been struggling with that before. So this energy here feels like new love for themselves. And uh, I'll get to that in a second. So new love for themselves, it feels like new life energy where there's been an energy of new, a sense of vitality being brought to the Divine Masculines, where they have a new excitement for life. They have a new zest for life. They have a new optimism for life, where they had once been stuck in, this is where I am, this is the job I have, this is the relationship I have, this is what's expected of me, this is my obligation, I have, I'm reaping what I sowed, basically. That was the energy that they had been in. It was a very negative, um, lack and scarcity mindset before. Um, but now they're recognizing that they have power, how powerful they truly are, and that they can create, they can manifest a new life for themselves as well. And they really did have to do that deep shadow work of releasing old toxic elements in their life. For some, it was relationships that were no longer serving them, that were just holding them back, and they were recognizing that as hard as it was. For others, it was careers, it was finances, old beliefs around finances, old beliefs around money where they never had enough, or money was the enemy, or XYZ, or a career that was holding them back, um, keeping them from their passion. They're recognizing now that their high vibration, that them, their happiness 
is what actually changes everything because their happiness is what gets them into a high vibration that helps them manifest their best and highest timeline, their best and highest potential. And so where they once felt stuck, they're now seeing opportunity. And so this really feels like a fresh new energy coming in for them where they are releasing the old negative patterns and beliefs and having a true shift in consciousness. What I'm hearing is elevated shift in consciousness, so a, a shift to higher consciousness where they are recognizing their chance, like a second chance energy for their life. It's almost like a reset. It's almost like a reboot for themselves. And it's because they have been releasing so much of the old and it's it's all around energy it's all around mindset some of it might have been very physical very material oriented um, in their physical landscape but it's all because of a mindset shift again what happens internally you 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 manifest from within your physical environment so things have been shifting and for a lot of them they were going through major tower moments it was a dismantling but it wasn't so much a dismantling of the physical environment even though it might have felt like that it was a dismantling of the old programming a dismantling of the old mindset and perspectives a dismantling of the old beliefs that were anchored in fear rather than love and so what's happening is because of that shift their world is going to be realigning so there was a dismantling happening in their physical environment because of what was happening within, this transformation that was happening within, lifting them to a higher level of consciousness, lifting, lifting them to a higher belief in source, a higher connection to source energy and the source within them, a higher connection to their divine feminine, a higher connection to their own soul self, and a higher connection to love as a whole. So where their physical, I'm going to talk about their physical environment for a second, where their physical environment might have been dismantled, where careers may have changed, finances may have changed, um, relationships may have changed, however this is resonating, remember I'm reading for a general collective, where it felt like things were dismantled, it had to, that tower had to crumble, things had to fall apart, so to speak. That was the tower kind of pushing them to have that mindset shift to raise in consciousness, to get them out of those old patternings and beliefs and habits and mindsets. And so now it's happening because they are raising in their consciousness, because they're having a new level of awareness, because they're shifting their belief system to one of a foundation of love as, as, as the grounding, as, as the foundation there, love being the foundation, their physical world is going to be aligning in a much more positive way, coming back together, or what I'm hearing, in a much more positive way. So more abundance. And and this is abundance versus, or, or prosperity versus wealth. This is um, an energy of abundance, which will then manifest in physical wealth, maybe in money, maybe in property, maybe in you know material items, whatever it is that they're trying to manifest. But it's an energy of abundance. Rather than trying to claim from the outside in wealth, kind of in a distorted way, they're manifesting from the inside out, from that high vibration. So um, it could be, uh, it's, it's an energy of abundance. They're feeling happy. They're feeling abundant. They're feeling like their wishes are being fulfilled. And so that's manifesting in their physical environment, inviting in their soul tribe, inviting in more love in their life, more connection with you, divine feminine, more intimacy, more relationship, more... Um, more partnership energy, more of that connection, understanding the connection with you. And we'll get into your connection as a whole later, but um, really understanding that now and um, aligning more with their passion, maybe more creative projects, maybe more leadership roles, maybe more mission work. Whatever this is, their physical world is starting to align now because of the transformation that has happened within them. So this is a beautiful energy of freshness, an energy of reset, an energy of reboot, a new love for themselves, a new life for themselves. And it doesn't mean that their life is completely 180 from where they were. You know, they could still be in the same hometown. They could still be in the same house. They could still be in the same um, kind of, you know, family dynamics. You know, they, but the energy around it is what changes. 
that's the most important thing to understand. The energy that they hold within is what changes and transforms the energy without. So their dynamics with parents and siblings and friends and, and um, other you know colleagues might change to be more peaceful, more harmonious, more communicative, more relating more on a, on a deeper level. Um, career might be moving more into position where they are enjoying their work more. Maybe they are more autonomous. Maybe they are more in a leadership position. Maybe they are moving more to entrepreneurship. You know, whatever it is, finances, more abundance. Again, that energy of abundance. So maybe they are receiving more finances. Maybe they are receiving more material goods, um, more services. Whatever it is, it's the energy of prosperity. It's the energy of abundance. It's the energy of harmony. It's the energy of love. And because they are accepting that energy of love and happiness and not fighting it anymore, not resisting it anymore, not staying stuck in that old stagnant energy of fear and scarcity and I can't have this because of this or old um, traumas and habits that were holding them back from believing it was ever possible for them. Now they are becoming open to possibility, and that's exciting them. It's exciting them. It's giving them an energy of anticipation and eagerness, and I want to create for my life. I'm ready to create for my life. I'm ready for the new. And that is trickling into their connection with you where you're exciting them, Divine Feminines. Your, their relationship with you is bringing them more joy, more happiness, more stability because they're finding that within themselves. And so you're going to find your connection to be more harmonious when you communicate, working together, partnering together, creating together. Really, really beautiful energy for Divine Masculines. Wow. <laughs> this is amazing. You guys, I never, um, like, this is what I'm saying. Like, I'm mind blown. Because the difference between six months ago, even a year ago, those readings, and the energy there, especially for the Divine Masculines, and the energy now, it's like night and day. It's. This is what it's all for. This is what it's all for. This is why it is worth waiting for because of this inner transformation, this inner union within the self that then translates into your outside relationship. This is what it's for. This is what the hard work was for, the clearing, the purging, the grief, the healing, the energy work, the meditations. And don't stop doing that. You know, you never stop because you never stop evolving. You never stop healing. You never stop remembering your power and who you are. That is your power. That love that you are is your power. And so you're just going to keep ascending. You're just going to keep evolving. You're just going to keep remembering that truth. And um, it just, I feel like an energy if it just gets better from here. It just gets better from here. And I always say with a caveat, it doesn't mean that you're not going to experience challenges in your physical environment, but it's going to feel different. It's going to be different because you are in a different energy where you have not just coping mechanisms because that's survival, that's ego, but you have more of an awareness and you have more of a faith and a knowing that no matter what happens, you are okay. You are supported. You are protected. Because you are in an energy of love. Amazing. Okay. All right. Cards are flying out. So let's get Divine Feminine, please. Where's the Divine Feminine? Okay. All right. What flew out here? Children. Your love life is being affected by children. Make it a clarifying card for this. What's this about? Oh, this feels like a very, very innocent energy here. Um, Spirit, can you clarify children for me? Calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. Okay, so I don't channel spirit babies, um, but you might be having children on the other side or even here energetically who are helping to bring you and the sacred union together. Um, recognizing that Everyone plays a part in our lives. Everyone plays a part in our experience, just like you play a part in everybody else's experience. Um, I was talking to my Divine Masculine the other day about this and how I'm understanding oneness and, and how we're transcending duality consciousness where we are all playing a part. And at any given moment, we can either be, you know, depending on who we are and who we're communicating with, 
We can either be viewed as a villain in someone's experience or as a hero in somebody's experience or somebody neutral. And um, that's not up for us to determine. Our only responsibility is to be our true authentic self at every given moment, to live from our highest expression of truth, our highest expression embodiment of love, and how anyone else perceives us, that's not necessarily our responsibility, um, but we are playing roles for other people just like other people are playing roles for us to learn, to grow, to evolve, and to help us through our experiences. Um, now, coming back to this message, energetically, we have people in our lives who are helping us to evolve and to grow and are also helping the sacred union to come into being, to come into formation. Um, I used to talk about interference, um, especially we talk about karmic um, relationships. Okay, sorry guys. Um, especially we talk about karmic relationships. We talk about um, third party situations and uh, karma is just an energy, so it doesn't have to be relationships. It could be situations as well, beliefs, habits, addictions, things like that, um, that kind of create some kind of interference or a block. But I have begun to, in the past few months, really appreciate that energy because that is energy with which we grow, with which we evolve, with which we dive deeper into our own shadow aspects, do more clearing, and it's all for the purpose of the sacred union. It's all for the purpose of this coming together. So interference isn't necessarily interference. Um, it's not necessarily a block. It's just something to work through to dive deeper. It's encouraging you to dive deeper. Um, and so if there were energies that felt like they were pulling you apart, it's just realignment. That's all that is. It's just realignment so that you can dive deeper, do more inner work, so that you can come into alignment and move into your best and highest potential, your best and highest timeline. Now, coming back to this message again, um, there have been energies around you that have been bringing you and your sacred partner together, recognizing, especially th this is an energy of children, this is an energy of innocence, because of the nature of your connection with your divine counterpart, it is one of pure unconditional love. It is love that is made in the image of the divine. Now, all love is, is made in the image of the divine, but what I mean by that is um, it is pure source energy. You and your divine counterpart are that unconditional love, that pure source energy, where other relationships might experience conditioning, might experience karma, might experience old templates of relationships and love. You and your divine counterpart, even though it might have felt very intense, it might have felt very trying at times, you truly are the embodiment of pure unconditional love for each other. And it's from that angle that you trigger each other to do the deep inner work in order to come back to that place of remembering that you are pure unconditional love. Compassion, patience, understanding, and wholeness within yourself. That's really what this journey is about. And those of you who are true divine counterparts will experience that. Um, I'm not talking about any toxic or abusive relationships. I really encourage you to use your own discernment and intuition as far as what kind of relationship you might be in. Um, and really do the inner work, uh, releasing attachment, releasing codependency, um, knowing your value, knowing your worth, and loving yourself. That's the inner work that really brings in these divine union, unions. And so with this children energy, it's a very innocent energy of, it really feels like whether there's children, spirit babies, whatever it is you want to call it, either here or on the other side, there, there are ancestors, there are spirit babies, there are energies, I'll just blanket it as energies, that are helping to bring the sacred union together, that are helping to call you both in to each other with this calling in your soulmate. Um, it's a very innocent energy. It's a very loving energy. Um, what they're saying to me is your love life is being guided by these energies, by this innocent energy, by this pure love energy. So your relationship is unfolding with help from the divine, helping to bring you two together. Because again, let me let me talk about this for a second. Your love with your sacred partner creates worlds, creates worlds. We've been channeling that since the very beginning. Your relationship with your sacred partner goes far beyond 
the physical relationship of a template that you've known with relationships before. Yes, we all want that 3D physical relationship. Marriage, family, um, home life, um, adventure, traveling, whatever it is, business, partnership, whatever it is that you envision with your sacred partner. We all want that physical human experience. But your love, when you're in this sacred union, when you're in this sacred partnership, goes beyond that. And that's how you know you're in a divine union. That's how you know you're in a divine partnership because you can feel the expansive nature. You can feel that it is much different than the relationship template that you have known before. And what they had been channeling to me is it's even far beyond doing mission work together. It's far beyond raising the vibrations of the planet and shifting the paradigm of the planet to more love. You are changing the universe as a whole because as your love, as you come together with your sacred partner and your love just continues to grow and expand and overfill, it's like that, that one cup. It's the two cups pouring into the one to create three, that trinity energy. And that one cup of love, that, that huge cup of love, that ace of cups just overflows and ripples out to affect not just this planet Earth, but the universe as a whole. Because as you as an individual soul are evolving and expanding, the universe evolves and expands. And as your neighbor and your brother and your sister and your mother and your father and your sacred partner all evolve and expand through their experiences, the universe continues to expand and evolve. Your love with your sacred partner, your partnership, your union is that but magnified tenfold. So imagine the expansive nature of you. Imagine that as you, as a soul, are growing and evolving, so is the universe growing and evolving and expanding. Okay? And so is every other person on this planet doing the same, helping the universe to evolve and expand, doing the same through their own individual journeys of evolution and growth. But you and your sacred partner, your love is powerful. Your love is sacred. Your love is divine. Your love is that profound that it magnifies all of that tenfold. And it births new worlds. It births new creations. It births new universes. Your love is that profound that it magnifies and ripples out, not just, again, to affect and raise the vibrations of this planet, although it does, but the universe as a whole. It's like your love accelerates the expansion and the evolution of the universe as a whole into one of more and more and more love. And so that's this energy that's coming in here now where the divine is having a part to play in bringing you together because what I'm hearing is it is the time for sacred union. It is the time for this unconditional love. And you are setting the stage for others to come into union. You are setting the stage, you as way showers, you as light workers, you as star seeds, you are, are planting the seeds for others who are just starting their ascension journey or starting their spiritual awakening or who are just meeting their twin flame or divine counterpart. You are planting those seeds and setting the stage for those to follow. You are helping to be a guide for others to follow in that new template or an old template if you want to call it that of unconditional love. The template of who you truly are which is pure divine source energy. Pure divine love. So with this energy here um, you're calling in your soulmate, your twin flame, your divine counterpart into the sacred union and you are being supported with this pure energy of ancestors, spirit guides, spirit babies. Um, it's just a very pure energy that's coming forth here. You are being protected in the sacred bubble as you come into the sacred union together because it is time for sacred union. Wow, these energies right now are very, very powerful. Uh, what they're actually also saying is with these portals, the eclipse, the, the three eclipses that we had in this one lunar cycle, the 7-7 seven, seven portal moving into the, what I'm hearing is a serious gateway. I'm not really sure what that is, but that's what they're channeling to me, the serious gateway, which might be happening now, um, and into the, uh, the Lionsgate portal in August and in September. 
um, we have been channeling for the past few months that August, September, and October is um, the time of sacred unions. So you're going to be cementing the energy, anchoring into the energy of sacred union and sacred partnership and experiencing that, especially in your physical 3D reality is what they're telling me. But this is a crucial, crucial time for sacred unions and you are protected in this divine, innocent, pure energy, this sacred bubble, so to speak. Wow, this is incredible. Okay, I'm getting called to this deck, so I'm going to use this. And see if there's any other messages that we need to know. I don't want to get too deep into all of this, but let's just see if there's anything else we need to know. Okay, okay Spirit, is there anything else we need to know about these, these sacred unions? What else do you want us to know? Just a reminder, I'm an intuitive reader, so I do things a little bit off the cuff here. Um, I just, I don't really have a spread. I just kind of uh, pick up the um, energies as I'm called to them. So, Spirit, what do we have to say about, let's um, let's do Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine since we did that on Instagram and Facebook. So let's get three cards for Divine Masculine, please. The Tower. Yeah. Three, two more cards for Divine Masculine. Ten of Cups and the Empress. This was the energy yesterday. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Hold on. There's something else for the Tower. What's the Tower about? Okay. The Hermit. All right. And um, I'm going to use this deck for the Divine Feminines. Let's, let's put this. Hold on. Making room. Okay. All right. I'm going to use this deck for the Divine Feminines. Wow. Okay. So if you guys checked out my um, Instagram uh, reading yesterday, the mini check-in, we had the Ten of Cups for the Divine Masculine in this exact space. So this is picking up on that energy that I was getting as well. And for the Divine Feminines, we had um, the High Priestess here in this space. And this star card is reminding me of the High Priestess. I also want to point out before I get into the messages that you have the Tower, that you guys are reflecting this together. Um, let me get... Why is the Tower here for Divine Feminines? Why is the Tower here for Divine Feminines? Okay. Okay, so this is amazing. Okay, so I love the tower. I've come to really respect and honor and love the tower because it means breakthrough. Even though it might not always feel comfortable, even though it might feel like a challenge, even though it might feel like the world is knocking you off your feet, when you come into this energy of inner union, when you come into this energy of faith and knowing and trust both in yourself and in the divine and source energy in God, then you know that no matter what happens, you will always be supported, you will always be protected, you are always exactly when and where you're meant to be experiencing what your soul is having you experience for a purpose, for your soul growth, for your evolution. Nothing is coincidence, nothing is by happenstance, everything is for a lesson, but not a lesson as in like a harsh lesson. Everything is for growth. Everything is for your evolution. That's the tower. The tower is coming through as a breakthrough for your evolution. That's the energy that's coming in here now. This feels like a complete shift in energy between you and your counterpart. Um, so I'm going to start. So because you both have the, the tower here, this feels like a complete shift for your relationship where you're moving out of that one stage and into another. That has been a message that has been channeled to me for the past few weeks and even the past few months where it really felt like we were closing the door in the past, where you were really releasing your relationship of the past. Um, what we had talked about was you and your divine counterpart in the past had kind of accumulated your own karmic cycle because of the triggers, because of the healing that you were doing, you had kind of accumulated your own karmic cycle. And over the past few months, you were really clearing that out to come into more harmony, to come into more peace and balance with each other in this relationship because this relationship is founded on pure unconditional love. So you were really releasing resentment. You were releasing past patterns. You were releasing fears of 
He's going to reject me because he's always rejected me. She's going to abandon me because she's always abandoned me. Um, resistance for this connection, um, fears around this connection. You're really in an energy of releasing that karma between the two of you. As you healed individually the karma from your own experience, from your own life journeys. Okay, so I want that to be clear. So you had accumulated a lot of baggage and beliefs over past lifetimes and this lifetime's traumas that individually you were healing as you were healing together. Like you were healing together through triggers. You were triggering each other and that was helping each other to heal. That served a purpose. You were healing together, but you were really healing. You're, you're always one. Remember that. There's no separation between you two. You're always one because you're that, that, that's the quantum entanglement. You know, you're that one blue photon that splits into two red photons and across space and time, no matter where you are, as one changes and transforms, the other changes and transforms. So you're always healing together, but when we're talking about physical embodiment, when we're talking about you and your counterpart in your physical human experiences, you were healing together through triggers or through separation, but that was still a trigger for you. Um, healing, but through that healing, you had kind of accumulated your own karmic cycle, and, and through the past six months, you were really clearing that out, clearing out that resentment, learning to forgive, learning patience, learning compassion, especially you, Divine Feminines, for your Divine Masculine. Now what's happening is you are entering and have entered, the correcting me, a next stage of your partnership, a next stage of your relationship. You have entered into sacred union, not just the process of coming into sacred union, you have entered into sacred union. And with this energy, what's happening is you are moving from the energy of healing and clearing and into building and creation. So more from more of that passive energy, now more into the active energy. And we talked about this on this week's Daily Energy Draw, so make sure that you check that out. Um, we talk about these messages that I've been getting about how we are shifting this energy. That's what this tower feels like. This tower feels like a complete breakthrough, like a door has been burst wide open to usher you into the next phase of your union, which is working together in beautiful harmony and partnership, where now you're not in resistance towards each other. Now you're not combative towards each other. Now you're working together. If there are challenges, if there are triggers, you're communicating. You're working through it together. You're communicating together. You're being more vulnerable with each other. It's always going to be a process. Evolution is always a process. So keep allowing it to unfold but recognize that it is unfolding. So this feels amazing. So, okay, so that's the overall energy for you guys. Now I'm going to get into the individual energies. For the Divine Masculine, they are coming out of this energy of the Hermit. They're coming out of this energy of introspection, of learning, of transformation, following now their own intuition, following now their own inner light. I love the hermit because the hermit has an energy of the high priestess where they are a sage, they are wise, they are powerful. This feels like divine masculine energy embodying their feminine energy. This feels like inner union for the divine masculine where they are recognizing that they had been following their, their ego. They had been following in an energy of control and trying to manipulate their outside physical world and recognizing now that it all comes from within. It all comes from their inner wisdom. It all comes from their inner guidance. What I'm also hearing is spirit team. They're connecting more to their spirit team, whether that be ancestors or guides or galactic council, whoever it is that they connect with, or angels, whoever it is that they connect with, it's it's themselves. It's it's truly, you know, your your council, your your spirit team is not outside of yourself. It's not some ethereal being outside of yourself that's all held within you as well. That's that oneness energy, just as you are source energy itself, your spirit team is the same. So they're listening to their soul, they're listening to their spirit team, they're listening to their own inner wisdom and guidance, and now allowing that to lead them forward. And that's the breakthrough that they're having, that's the shift in consciousness that they're having that we talked about here, that is helping them to manifest and make tangible this Ten of Cups. And again, the Ten of Cups in the same position as yesterday's mini reading on Instagram and Facebook, which is blowing me away. I'm also not... Um, 
negating the fact that I was called to this deck and you have the two swans. This is all about sacred union. So not only, and with the empress here, this is you, divine feminines. Not only are they recognizing their power and their inner wisdom and having this breakthrough in consciousness, having this revelation for their own life, but they're having this revelation around their connection with you and how you are a key to their happiness because you are them. You are one. And the more they allow themselves to be happy in their love with you, the more they are able to birth a new reality with you, to create a new reality with you. The Empress being a mother figure, the Empress being one who births new worlds, who births new manifestations, who creates. And so they are wanting to create with you. They're wanting to build with you. They're wanting to manifest their Ten of Cups with you, acknowledging that you have always been a part of their Ten of Cups. There is an awareness here where once they were in resistance to this, where once they were very self-deceptive and in denial of this, now there is a breakthrough, a shift in their mindset where they are not only aware of this, but they are being honest with themselves about it and embracing this because they are following their intuition, they are following their heart, they are following their inner wisdom that has always guided them back to you, recognizing that together you are the key to creating happiness. And they're embracing that happiness for once they were afraid of their own happiness for fear that it would be taken away. Now they're fully embracing it and recognizing that that happiness just begets more happiness. Love just begets more love. Creation and manifestation and high vibration just begets more creation and manifestation and high vibration. They're recognizing all of this. They're recognizing this divine union. And um, it's funny because I can validate that. My divine match son actually physically mentioned that yesterday. Um, mentioned that he was sure that, you know, this connection was divine at the very least. And... Um, so that was something. <laughs> so that's this energy here, and it feels incredible. There's this, a true breakthrough, a true shift. And this is truly, uh, again, they're calling me to the major arcana here. The tower being a major arcana, the universe really playing a part in this. That's this energy here. The universe truly playing a part in bringing the sacred union together. Okay, Divine Feminines, here we have the tower for you. You are having a shift in how you perceive your Divine Masculine. Where once you might have been holding the weight of this connection, now you're beginning to trust this. Now you're beginning to see that your divine masculine can take action, can and is taking action, they're correcting me, and wanting to work in partnership together. This is my original trinity energy, um, my original union energy. Uh, before, you were holding on to the burdens of this connection. You were really um, shouldering the weight of this connection, really... Um, you, you were holding the vision for your wish. You were holding the vision the vision for your manifestation with the star card here. But now that's coming into balance here. You see how there's some alchemy, this temperance energy coming in. You're following your intuition. You are relaxing your burdens. You are surrendering even more to allow your masculine to continue to rise and to trust that this is not playboy energy anymore. This is not in and out energy anymore. This is not hot and cold energy anymore. That is the shift that you are having here. That's the tower moment that you're having where you're surrendering more and more to trusting in this partnership, to trusting this connection, to trusting your divine masculine to be this knight. It's really a king energy that's coming in, but I like the knight here because it's about forward movement and action. So you're really trusting your divine masculine to take action where action is necessary rather than you shouldering the burdens yourself, rather than you taking action yourself, rather than you doing everything for this connection yourself where that's where it really felt like. It felt like you were giving, giving, giving and you weren't receiving because you have come into inner union divine feminines, because you have balanced out that masculine and feminine energy within yourself, risen into your divine nature, you have surrendered to be able to receive, to step into the flow, to be able to, again, trust more, 
you're ending this cycle of carrying this connection yourself and coming more and more into equal partnership. And because you're coming into this place of surrender, letting go of that control, letting go of, I need to do everything for this connection, allowing, again, your divine masculine to rise. That's the breakthrough that you're having, the mindset shift that you're having. You're letting go of the past. You're forgiving the past. You're letting go of resentment. You're acknowledging that you're moving into a next phase of your relationship. And you're really, really surrendering the past and letting it go. It's really like, for you guys, it really feels like the past is another lifetime. That's what it really feels like. That's the difference that this tower is bringing in. It really feels like, and that's that mind-blown energy that I was talking about. It really feels like this feels so different. Your divine masculine feels so different. This sacred union and your relationship feels so different that the past feels like another lifetime. That's the shift that's being created within you. It's allowing you to surrender more and more of your past let go of those heavy burdens that you were carrying and any residual energy that you were carrying about this connection in order to move forward towards more complete wish fulfillment, your highest wish, your truest wish coming forward. And again, I'm pointing out the balancing out. It's again, the two cups pouring into the one. And I'm not remiss to say that number one, we have the full moon in the background and this energy here. Um, is one of divine nature. This is the universe guiding this. This is the universe helping you to, number one, balance out within your connection, to bring more harmony to your connection, and to overflow with love. Because you have the two cups pouring into this just ocean of eternal love here. So a major shift occurring for you, divine feminines, where you are feeling this new beginning where you are feeling this new start to your relationship and the old really is put in the past the old really is put away it really does feel like it's like you can it's almost like it's like this I'm looking at my own journey and it's like I I can feel and remember everything that my divine masculine and I went through but it feels like two completely different people it feels like a completely different lifetime that's how different this energy is, and that's this tower moment that's coming in. That's the shift, the breakthrough that you're experiencing. This energy is completely different than before because you are trusting this, because you are working together in more harmony, in partnership now, and trusting now your divine masculine to be in that divine masculine energy, that divine energy versus the distorted energy in order to move forward and take action. It's almost like you're allowing yourself to surrender and step back so that your divine masculine can step forward and take action in this night energy. And again, this night energy is really king energy, but there's movement happening here. So movement in the physical for this partnership. Wow, amazing, amazing. Okay, we are going to end with a message between counterparts using my... Uh, Conversations with the Counterparts deck, which is available on Etsy. I do have um, several of these currently in stock, um, so shipping won't be as delayed. If you guys are interested, links are below. Let's see, what does the Divine Masculine want the Divine Feminine to know? What does the Divine Masculine want the Divine Feminine to know? <laughs> My love for you never fades and has never faded. This love truly is eternal, and now... They have always felt it, even though they tried to deny it, even though they tried to resist it. They've always felt it. It has always been a guiding light for them. You have always been their, their eternal compass. So when they're following their own intuition, when they're following their own inner light, you have been a part of that, is what I'm hearing. And so it has never faded. And now with this Ten of Cups and the Empress here, this breakthrough that's happening, they are acknowledging that. They're aware of this now. They're no longer in resistance to this because they understand that you are part of the, their happiness. You wish for you. They wish for you. You wish for each other. You're part of each other's happiness. You're part of each other's greatest wish. Oh, that's gorgeous. Divine Feminines, what do you want to say to your Divine Masculine? You changed my world for the better. And let's get one more. Oh, we got a couple. I don't want to share this journey with anyone else. 
and you bring light to my darkness. And I feel like that's for the both of you. Um, so Divine Feminines, you're recognizing the transformation that has happened within you, the inner transformation that has happened within you, how you might be feeling more love, you might be feeling more at peace, your gifts might have opened, and that might be exciting to you, your spiritual journey and ascension might be exciting to you, um, your divine passion, you've changed each other's worlds, you have brought light to each other's darkness, you have helped each other to heal, you have helped each other to transform into the highest possible version of yourself and that evolution and that growth is going to keep coming. You're going to keep transforming higher and higher into more and more light, into more and more love, into more and more of an abundant energy, bringing more and more to this connection, for this connection, and again, expanding, expanding that love. And so... You've changed each other's world through the love that has been eternal. This is this has been incredible. This this reading is amazing. Every reading, it's like I don't know what to say as far as commentary because the messages and the energy that comes forth is just so different and just so profound and powerful and loving. And it's such a difference from the stale, stagnant, toxic energy that we have been reading a year ago. It's just such a profound difference. It's just incredible here. So let me know how this is resonating with you guys. Um, let me know where you are on your journey. And if you feel like booking with me, again, I am scheduling starting in August. So you can reach out to me now and I'll get you scheduled in if you want me to tap into your own individual energies. I am sending you guys so much love, so much light. We'll be back with more collective readings coming soon.